The CDC says Arkansas is the worst state in the country for maternal, ma more, excuse me, the maternal mortality rate. Black women are almost twice as likely to die from pregnancy-related complications compared to white women. 5 News reporter Kayla Davis highlights how one organization is working with UAMS to improve those outcomes. It's almost like a life or death situation. I want to go into these hospitals equipped with everything that I can to make sure that I leave um, with my health and that my babies come into the world healthy, safe. For every 100,000 live births in the state, 40 mothers don't survive. And the data shows black women are dying at nearly twice the rate. Destiny Harris is one of 10 women taking part in a week-long doula training at the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences in Springdale. For Harris, it's all about representation for mothers that look like her. Do they understand the, the implications and the issues that are within the health system? Um, do they understand the nuances of your culture? Uh, you want to be able to go into those rooms and not have to explain the bare minimum about your identity. Doulas don't typically have medical training, but they're present to provide guidance and support for a woman through her pregnancy and during labor. UAMS is partnering with Ojima Maternity Network, a nonprofit organization that works to address the black maternal and infant health crisis in Arkansas. It introduces a level of accountability to the uh, medical staff in the hospital setting. Um, I myself had a doula um, at my own birth, and I think just the, the mere presence of somebody being there to be an unbiased set of eyes on things is helpful. The week-long intensive program here is followed by a six-month educational process. But the work doesn't stop here. Right now, there are only 36 doulas in the entire state. This is our first 10. We're going to be doing another 10 in April, and hopefully we'll continue on until we get to 40. With such a low number of doulas in the state and the need medically unrecognized, according to UAMS, accessibility can be difficult. Right now, Medicaid does not pay for doula services. I would love to see doulas reimbursed for their services uh, and it be seen as an, a profession that um, is here and available to all women. And Harris believes accessibility begins with awareness. It comes with the perception that it's something for wealthy people, it's behind a paywall, um, it's a luxury, um, and it's not a luxury, it's a necessity. In Springdale, covering news where you live, Kayla Davis, 5 News.